Have you ever considered what secrets the Earth's crust might be hiding about our past? This question sets the stage for a fascinating journey into the theories that seek to decipher the enigmatic history of our planet. Among these theories, two stand out as the most prominent. Catastrophism and Uniformitarianism. Catastrophism, as the name suggests, places catastrophic events at the heart of Earth's evolutionary story. Imagine massive floods, fiery volcanic eruptions and cataclysmic earthquakes, events so dramatic and sudden that they drastically alter the face of our planet in a geological blink of an eye. These violent episodes, according to catastrophism, are the architects of the Earth as we know it today. Contrast this with uniformitarianism, a theory that paints a more serene picture. It suggests that the Earth's geological features have been crafted over eons, shaped gradually by the relentless, slow-paced forces of nature. Picture a river carving a canyon over millions of years, or a mountain range gently rising under the persistent push of tectonic forces. These two theories might seem like polar opposites, yet they both seek to answer the same question. How did the Earth come to look the way it does today? To understand our planet's past, we must delve into the heart of these theories, dissecting their propositions and examining the evidence that supports them. Are the Earth's geological features the work of sudden cataclysmic events, or are they the result of slow, gradual processes? The answer to this question holds the key to understanding the history of our planet. It offers a window into the past, a glimpse into the tumultuous journey that has shaped the Earth. But more importantly, it provides a foundation upon which we can build our knowledge of the world and our place within it. Now let's dive into the deep and hidden layers of Earth's crust to unveil the compelling evidence for catastrophism. Or what if I told you that the fossil record tells a story of catastrophic events rather than a slow and steady process? Consider this, the fossil record showcases an array of organisms often found in twisted and contorted positions. These snapshots of the past don't depict a leisurely demise. No, they suggest a sudden burial, a quick encapsulation in sediment. Imagine a peaceful seafloor community, teeming with life one moment and buried under a torrent of sediment the next. This is not the work of time and tide, but of rapid, catastrophic events. Now let's turn our attention to living fossils. These are species that appear abruptly and fully formed in the fossil record, then remain unchanged over supposed millions of years. The coelacanth, a prehistoric fish thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago, was discovered alive and well in the 20th century. The ginkgo tree, another living fossil, appears in the fossil record over 200 million years ago and yet remains virtually unchanged today. These living fossils pose a conundrum for the theory of slow, gradual evolution. If species have been evolving over millions of years, why do we find creatures in the fossil record that are virtually identical to ones living today? Shouldn't they have evolved beyond recognition over such vast periods? Further consider the abrupt appearance of many species in the fossil record. Evolutionary theory predicts a slow, gradual change from one species to another. Yet the fossil record often shows species appearing all at once, fully formed. This is more consistent with a model of special creation, where each species was created in its current form, rather than gradual evolution. So what do these pieces of evidence suggest? They point to a history of catastrophic events, of sudden changes and abrupt appearances. They tell a tale of a world shaped not by slow, gradual processes, but by rapid, dramatic events. Certainly the fossil record paints a vivid picture of a catastrophic past, doesn't it? Scene script. Have you ever heard of a tree that grew through time? Not just decades, but eons? Enter the enigma of polystrate fossils. A peculiar phenomenon where fossils, often trees, penetrate multiple sedimentary layers. Imagine a tree standing tall, its fossilized form reaching through layers of rock, each supposedly representing a different geological epoch. Quite the time-traveling tree, wouldn't you say? Now, the uniformitarian interpretation of geological layers suggests that each layer represents a long epoch of time. But here's the twist. How could a tree remain upright for thousands, if not millions of years, waiting patiently while sediment slowly built up around it? It's a bit like baking a cake over a century, isn't it? 
So how does one explain this mystery? Well, there's another perspective to consider. Instead of slow and steady sedimentation over eons, what if these layers were the result of rapid catastrophic events? A sudden flood, perhaps, carrying sediment and burying the landscape quickly and deeply, including our tree. This scenario aligns perfectly with the existence of polystrate fossils. Now, we're not talking about a solitary case here. Polystrate fossils have been found worldwide, from Canada to Australia. These fossils present a compelling argument against the uniformitarian interpretation and point towards catastrophism. Trees growing through eons or rapid burial during catastrophic events, which sounds more plausible. So, where does all this evidence lead us? As we've journeyed through the catastrophic past, unraveling its tales and delving into the mystery of polystrate fossils, we've uncovered a fascinating narrative. A narrative that the fossil record, living fossils and polystrate fossils all resoundingly echo. This isn't a story of slow, gradual processes. No, it's a tale of sudden, dramatic events, a tale of catastrophism. The fossil record, for instance, is a testament to abrupt change. It's a chronicle of life forms appearing and disappearing almost instantly on a geological scale. No slow evolution, just sudden bursts of new life followed by mass extinction. Then we have living fossils, these remarkable creatures that have remained virtually unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. They defy the very concept of gradual evolution. Their existence is a testament to stability, not change. And let's not forget polystrate fossils. These geological oddities towering through multiple layers of sediment tell us one thing. These layers were deposited rapidly, not over millions of years. Each piece of evidence, each fossil, each layer of sediment points towards a history of catastrophic events. Events that shaped the Earth quickly and dramatically, leaving their indelible mark for us to discover. The evidence is clear. The Earth's past was a stage for dramatic catastrophic events that have left their mark for us to discover. Science, it seems, speaks in favour of catastrophism.